Good morning, Cypress Christian School Elementary. My name is Kathy Cox, and I am the children's pastor at Vista Church in Heartland, Texas. I am also a friend of Mrs. Besner and Pastor Besner, who I know you probably know also. We've been friends a long time, and they're some of our dearest friends, and we just love the way they love the Lord and love people, and so we have a lot in common that way. I just wanted to talk to you this morning about standing firm in the Lord. A little birdie told me that this year that y'all are focus on, focusing on standing firm in the Lord. And I was so excited to hear about that because I think this is a time and a season and when we need to really think about everything God has done for us and how we have to hold fast to Him when so many things can seem so uncertain. This is when we need to hold on tight to Jesus and what he's done for us, knowing that he will keep us safe and he'll keep us secure in all that he does. Well, I just wanted to share with you a thought that I had as I was thinking about standing firm in the Lord. And it comes from the verses that um, I know you've been studying. And I want to focus on Ephesians 6 verse 17. Let me get my glasses just real fast here. And it says, Take the helmet of salvation in the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. The helmet of salvation. You know, I'm not only the children's pastor at Vista Church. I am also a high school counselor, which means I help bid kids with the things that are going on in their head. And also, in my house, I have four kids. Two of them are in college and two of them are in high school. So I spend a lot of time with teenagers too. And I just know that kids and teenagers have a lot going on in their minds, especially in this day and age when there's so much going on and we can fill our minds with so many things and they can be good or they can be bad. But the helmet of salvation that Jesus is talking about is when we ask Jesus to come live in our heart and be with us forever, we have a protection over our mind that comes from the salvation that he's given us. And I want to talk about that protection over your mind. I want to talk about how the fact that when you have Jesus in your heart, he is your strength to help you think clearly and to help you have good thoughts in your head. But sometimes, because we all make mistakes as humans, because the only one who doesn't make mistakes is Jesus, sometimes we don't fight help Jesus fight that battle by putting good things in our minds. So what I want to talk to you about today is making sure that you always put good things in your mind. You know, sometimes when we make mistakes, we might be watching things on TV that make our minds cluttered and dirty. We might be looking at things on a cell phone that can make our minds cluttered and dirty. We might be even listening to people who aren't honoring God and the things coming out of their mouths can make our minds cluttered and dirty, and we just don't want that. Let me give you a quick example. See this water in this water bottle? See how clear it is and how clean it is? I want you to pretend like this water is what's inside your mind. This water is what's protected with the helmet of salvation because you've asked Jesus into your heart, and he's given you the strength to keep your mind clear. But sometimes if we let look at things on our cell phones that we shouldn't be looking at, or if we are watching things on TV that our parents don't know about and we shouldn't be watching anything like that, or maybe looking at books we're not supposed to, it could be anything that we put in our brain that isn't honoring God. And we're, although we've got that helmet of salvation, we're putting things in our mind. Let's look and see what it does to our beautiful, clean brain. Unfortunately, look how dirty and how dark and how unhealthy it makes our mind. So boys and girls, what I want to encourage you to do today is to remember that God loves you so much and that Jesus died for you so that you could have salvation. And he wants you to cover your mind with the salvation that he's given you, with the love that he has for you. And he wants to remind you, don't fill your mind up with dirty things and things that don't honor him, the things that can make our mind cloudy and dirty. Make sure you're constantly filling your mind with the things of God, friendships that are good and fun and healthy and help you make the right decisions, listening to your parents because sometimes they drive us crazy, but God gave us our parents to help us live lives that honor him. 
Look at things on your cell phone that honor God. Listen to music that honors God and that doesn't help put things in your mind that make you unhealthy. And when you protect your mind also by the things that you watch and the things that you invite into your brain, then you will live a life that honors Him. So put on that helmet of salvation every day by refusing to put anything in your mind that is unhealthy or dishonoring to God, and you'll find yourself secure and safe and steadfast in His love. Y'all have a really great day today. I am so honored to get to be with you and get to spend a short amount of time talking to you about the greatness of God. May he bless you. May you honor him in what you do. Let's pray and then we're going to let you go. Get back to studying. Father God, I thank you so much that your word promises, promises us the helmet of salvation. God, that you tell us in your word that when we ask you to live in our heart, that you give us a salvation that will never leave. And part of that salvation is the ability, God, that you will help us protect our mind. God, may we make the right choices that keep our mind clear, that keep our mind clean, that keep it, God, ready to honor you. God, help us to be kind today and to love all people of all backgrounds in all situations so that they can see who Jesus really is. Thank you, God, for loving us, and thank you, Jesus, for dying for us. And we pray these things in your holy name. Amen. Have a great day, Cypress Christian School Elementary.